yeah. First time streaming, we got a new release of Dwarf Fortress out, the premium version. So we're going to hit this up. We're going to see what we can do here and get this going on. Um, let me see. I built a new world last night, uh, just a regular default world, and picked, well, let's see, we got Boldolramol. The Cyclopean Plains. Oof. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a fun one. Let's see if I did this right. I'm pretty sure I picked a deployment with a volcano, which is the whole main goal here. There we go. We got some dwarves. We've got a deployment. We've got it all paused because... We, last night, could not figure out where the hotkey was for going up and down Z-levels. Which is kind of necessary. It used to be the carrots up and down, but that's not currently working. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Okay, and then WASD to move around. Gotcha. And then it's the scroll wheel. So let's zoom out on the area a little bit so we can see what we've got going on. We're on the top of a peak here, right next, yep, right next to a lovely volcano. Let's see. We'll zoom out a little bit on this volcano. That's as far as we can go. Let's see what we've got here. We're zooming up, zooming down, zooming down, zooming down. Let's see what we got. Woof. We've got a nice valley right next to this volcano. Well, where's it going? Let's see here. Does it head off the map? Nope. Yeah, it does. Interesting. So we've got a nice little valley right here next to our volcano and our peeps our wagon right up here on top of this mountain hmm what are we gonna do with this this is a nice deployment I like this really tall mountain I really like that valley though it seems highly defensible I'm just zooming in and out getting a feel for the mountain right now seeing what we've got uh, lot of high points Oof. yep zoom in on our peeps and we've got a valley down here to explore we're paused let's see who we've got um, let's see if we've got a community tab citizens Yes, we've got Udil Raspakid, a miner. We've got Edem Thadik Thadkid, a woodworker. I, I don't know why I always fall for the woodworkers. These guys are so great. Sadel Idgim, the mason. Kel Lemerson, the stone crafter. As Sazrabal, fisher dwarf. Ugh. Zon Dodignum, the planter. Unib Kageshan. Kageshan. Hmm. The expedition leader. This could be interesting. Let's see. Pets livestock. This is me learning, so this is quite the endeavor. Who do we got? We've got dogs. We're not breeding pair. Not with cats. Good. We don't have to worry about fixing them. I don't know if we have to worry about a cat explosion in the premium version, but in the um, ASCII version, if you left your cats unneutered, then you'd end up with a huge frame rate drop, and it would just tick on really slowly, which can be beneficial if you're trying to micromanage your fortress, but if you want to pass time, that, that does not work if you're going to dig like a well pump system that's really deep or something. Um, then you don't want to have too many pets. It's a big problem. Let's see, we've got a mule, a lamb cavy boar uh cavies are pretty much useless uh except for pets ducks goose 
See, the only boys we got are the cavy boar and two buffalo bulls. No females, so we're going to need to look out for water buffalo. All that. I think the male duck is called a drake, but alrighty. Others, let's see, we got some turkeys on the map. We might go catch those, set out some, let's see. Will it take me to them? Ha ha, yes, it takes me directly to the turkeys. Where are the turkeys in relation? Ah, you see the scroll wheel I'm gonna have to reset because I wanna scroll, I wanna scroll up the mountain, go up my Z level, so I scroll up and it takes me up and scroll down. And for some reason that just isn't intuitive to me. Let's zoom out. And let's see where those turkeys are. Yeah, <laughs> not intuitive. I want to scroll down to scroll up. It's weird. They're way on the other end of the map. So they're just visitors over here. Turkey gobblers. Cool. Cool. So we got some wild game on the map that we can engage with and um all that good stuff cool i like this mini map it's looking really good got to remember where your colonists are so let's see i want to tap into that magma and have some fun with magma we've got the sheer edge here and we can run that off. We can channel all the way back in here and make a magma fall. But we need a water source. Yep. That's where we want to run it. So we're going to send some digging orders right here. Do a two wide haul. Oh, you got to click to confirm. Cool. Regular mining. Interesting. And we'll chop down some trees. So we'll hold shift and select. These three guys. Click. They're chopped. Space bar. Let's see if we get some dwarves down here. Yep. Okay. So definitely pause that. We got to do some plant gathering also. Um, WASD. That is going to mess me up. The whole, we never had that before. It's typical roguelike. Yeah, gather those plants. Cool. Yeah, beautiful. They're getting to work. Chopping down some trees, mining, gathering some plants. Ooh, they're on it. Alrighty, we're going to need to make some stockpiles here soon. But the first thing we want to do is just make a temporary dormitory. So we're going to pause it. Pause it. And we're going to finish gathering. Nope, we want to mine. We want to dig a channel, making a ramp on the level below. Okay, so bam. Oh, I can't. What was it? It was scroll. Yep. Wow. That's convenient. I don't want that many stairs. Oh, no. Where's the cancel order? Ah. Oh, now we got to do some regular mining. Ooh, don't like that because now. Can I left click? Yep. And then get out of there. Sweet. Left click again. Dang. Hotkeys would be really handy here. Bam. Dig out. And then we've got to cancel the rest of these. Oh, holding shift really sets me up there or something. I have no idea where we're going now. Shift zooms you through multiple layers all at once. I don't know where I went. Where are all my people going? They're up and down the mountain. I'm just, oh, I'm not even letting it run. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so.
So scroll down, scroll down. Okay, we're back to canceling. Okay, space bar. What we got going on here? Got some people mining. Ooh, that's a big old tree. That's really cool. Oh, it is. It's a really big old tree. As we scroll up. I like that, that the trees get bigger. That's cool. That's really cool. I think we're going to leave that big old one and see how old it can get. Tree chopping. Uh, plant gathering. Because we always need plants. I feel like up on the ridges here there were more plants. set people out hunting let's see who's idle pause this fisher dwarf stone crafter expedition leader miner he was caught in the rain what talking with a friend cool there's lots of new stuff here like rooms he can acknowledge his own rooms that's completely it's not new but at least we get some verification that they're acknowledging their rooms when we build something in there like I don't have that well you do nice shoes they're still not wearing underwear interesting so what I wanted to see is the expedition leader look at her tasks labor will do available tasks anywhere set her to mining yes and hunting sweet yep and this mason we're not going to be using masonry anytime soon so lantern fisher dwarves now because i didn't see any water we really got to look for water and i'm gonna have to remember that i set Zahn, nope, oh, nope, I set Sodell and Unib with different tasks because eventually I'm going to want them to specify what tasks they do. Um, so we've got it all mined out. Let's see. Yep, what type of stone do we have here? Mica, those are gems. Cool. So, stairs, we want to mine more stairs. Oh. We want to go negative 30 is going to probably get us to the second cavern layer but we probably want to go down below that it might just be the first we'll see where they take us but mining away we got to go down first step is go down second step is find water and all the low points on this map we're going to have to zoom out yeah WASD and Z levels are messing me up here Garden crests. We're looking for a pond, a puddle, anything with water in it right now. Before we set these guys off doing any more tasks. Because if not, we're relying on that cavern level to provide our water for us. And I don't want to have to pump it up. If we have to, we have to. I'm not seeing any water out here, but I'm also not sure what water looks like in the new version. What do we got there? Blue Jay. Cool. Let's zoom in on that real quick. Check that out. Oh, man, that's a cute little Blue Jay right there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any 
water sources anywhere. We've got no shallow pools. Ugh. Yeah, absolutely no groundwater. Alrighty, so it looks like we're mining. We're, we'll just set these guys free. Um, we've designated some tasks. We've got some wood chopping going on. I don't think we want a whole lot more wood chopping going on. Um, let's see. Pause it real quick. We're going to go back to the citizens tab. Go over to others. Find the turkey gobbler. Right. And then, see, I don't remember. I I think hunting used to be automated, but that's weird. Yep, I'd have to build up a military and have them attack the turkey gobbler if I want them to go actively hunt the turkeys. And even then, they're going to butcher the corpse. They're not just going to... What do you guys got going on here? Bees. Homes. Cavi boar. Oh, my goodness. That cavi boar is cute. They did some good jobs with those pixelated characters. I like those. Alrighty. Back to business. We're going to do some mining. We've got this beautiful volcano. we got to do something with this. Let's see where they're at down here. Oh, I forgot. We're going to set food gathering orders on the ridge. There's no food on the ridge. Zoom out. Pause it real quick. Now, I wonder if I gather food from this sea level. Will it designate it down there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yep, they'll gather it, but you have to scroll to the Z level that you want them to gather it on. They're coming for it. They're going to get it. Alrighty, let's go back over here and check out the mine. Uh, something's holding up. Oh, you know, because I need transition stairs. There we go. Yeah, now we're getting to it. <laughs> You've got to transition. You've got to select your active Z level that the stairs are on. So what I did there was I had these two sets of stairs, and then I had a gap in between the designation. Now that miner is just going great guns. Holy Moses. He's like, woof. What type? What do we got here? Rhyolite. Why does that rhyolite keep changing colors? That's interesting. Cobaltite. Woof. Very cool. Oh, he's just going great guns on this. Where are we at? We're already third level down. How far down does that magma go? That magma actually gives us a cheat view into the lower Z levels. So we're looking at 123 for the sub level. I don't know how many people are gonna go there. That's not necessarily a great place to have to go because there's some nasty stuff down there. 129 is my maximum bottom Z level. That's pretty convenient. A lot of space to do stuff with. I'm thinking, depending on where we hit water, I want to do a steam magma fall or something. Just get like all the magma pumping into a waterfall and combine the two. That's a challenge that was on the old uh, Dwarf Fortress wiki, I don't know if it's still there with magma that like if you got a magma waterfall you could give your dwarves happy thoughts but again that's that's becoming questionable. I don't know how much the dwarves need happy thoughts anymore or how easy they made it for the steam release. A lot of times the dwarves would just get miserable for no reason in the ASCII version and you'd spend all day just trying to figure out what can I do to make my dwarf happy? Like this uh, expedition leader. I'm annoyed when caught in the rain after having a drink without using a, oh geez, we need to make some cups. We need to make some workshops. I wanna go down though, that's the problem. I wanna make it down. We can't spend all day on the surface, 
lot of talking going up, but they're not doing anything and being idle doesn't look like it's affecting their mood at this point. We'll see. <laughs> Idleness was one of the greater sins in the ASCII version. If your dwarves are sitting around doing nothing, they're not really too happy. Dwarves like to have a good something to do. Alrighty, let's let's check on this mine, see if we're breaking through the cavern level yet. It'll it should give me an announcement when we get there. I'm just really desperate leaving these poor dwarves up, up way on the surface, but I want to get to that cavern level and see what I can do there. Of course we're not gonna get there if it's paused. <laughs> let's see. Ooh, we're getting down there. Yep. That's as low as we designated, and we still didn't break through the cavern layer. We've got marble and orthoclase to work with. We really desperately need to get down here, though. Um, I generally don't, and my fortresses move down so fast, so far. But we might have just totally missed that first cavern layer. Definitely definitely need to catch up to that though scrolling down to scroll down let's see not seeing anything yet on and i guess we're not going to get our a big caravan the first winter usually in the ascii version you're you get big caravans the first winter always and they have as much as you need burrows burrows were not very effective in ascii Meeting places, ooh, yeah, zones. We need a place of worship, and I don't really think we have, I left that big one. We're gonna attempt the elves. Click on an existing zone to select it. Repaint this zone. Suspend activities. Remove this zone permanently. Assign a new or existing location to this zone. Locations are groups of zones and rooms with larger purpose. Temple. I want a temple. New temple. There we go. Who do we got? We've got Tot Totmon. Who's got the most? One worshiper. No worshippers. No worshippers. Two worshippers. Raz has got two. Warm diamonds, non-denominational, cannot no specific deity. There we go. The quickness of clubs. Can I rename that? Uh, what? Oh, that's cool. Updates on marriage. Oh, whoa. that is cool. So the Stonecrafter Kel. Lemrison and the uh, planters on Dodicum have married. That's great. Uh, the rain started clearing. I like these little updates. Left click to recenter. There's nothing to catch in the central swamps. Where's the central swamps? That I want to know. There it is. Murky water. There's the central swamps. One tile. Oh, goodness. Now, if this is like ASCII and I mine that tile, I'm going to lose it. But if I build a slope into here, I can drain that tile as it fills. The trick is I cannot mine this tile. So the slope has to be intersecting on the edge of the tile where the water will flow, and it has to go down. I'm going to need a pool for it to go down into. Let's see, where does that put us? Down the mountain. So we can make a waterfall probably right down to here. If we cut out the earth, that could be pretty cool. Anyway, we're paused. We're not going to pause. We're going to go back up and see if we can get some other people on mining. We 
might only have a limited number of pickaxes. Let's see. Objects menu. Oh, that's just heavy duty objects. We don't need that. Huh. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. So, right there. Yep. Then we want to dig. Ramp. Uh, see what what ground yep that's what we want I think we just want to scroll down from here oof that's a big designation I don't know if that's gonna work we're gonna have to micro designate that yep We're going up and down at the same time. We don't need to do that. That's not even desperate. We set up that designation foolishly. Now we're going to end up wasting our miner's time. Let's see. Did we miss? Looks like we missed both first and second cavern layer. Hooray. Hooray. That is terrible news. There's caverns. So, whoop. Where'd the section of the cavern collapse? Uh, right click to close, right here. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, all this edge mining is gonna cause cavern collapses, seriously? Oh, no, it's because he did it in the wrong order he went in. That's all right. He's all right. He's all right. We'll go back now and designate down there i wonder when that does it that alert goes away uh we're at negative 60 or something and we still haven't tapped into oh well you know what if we don't tap into the upper cavern layers that's just fine the only cavern layer i really care about is the third cavern layer before the very bottom because that's where all the um nether caps are and they're some of the only materials that are readily available except for like steel um to deal with magma if you want what okay yeah we're just gonna go all the way down are we no we're gonna go down we're gonna stop that designation are we we can end up just cautiously going down there and not worrying about it. Or we can do what I'm doing, which is going down there. Ooh. I might not have crossed the designation again. Olivine, rock crystal, cobaltite, praise, alanite. There's a whole bunch of new native gold. Where is it? Galena, native silver zircons some gems love that love the gems the gems i guess are what's gonna be our mainstay here rough hewn golden uh, native gold wall wow cool let's see did we get the miner back on it or pause that's gonna help <laughs> to not be paused but like I said, those idle dwarves, if I'm taking too long to designate this stuff, they're going to start getting angry with me. I really like these alerts because that lets me know and then just zoom into what level I have, what material. That's so handy. Ooh, he hurt himself. Let's, let's just see where he's at. Not, no, oh, he's healthy. A choking on dust underground. <laughs> he's not very happy with that disdains leisure time that's what i'm talking about idle dwarves and he's a brawler gotta keep him mining good deal keep mining my friend strike the earth oh my goodness i cannot believe we are not hitting a cavern level this is oof i don't even know what to say we're gonna have to do some serious exploratory mining right around I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like 129, we're going to be at rock bottom, and that's kind of scary because there's some really scary monsters <laughs> the further you go down. So 
Yeah. I don't. Not really excited about seeing where this. He stopped. Did he? It's designated, but he took a break. I really don't believe we're not hitting any cavern layers here. This is problematic. Trying to have my dwarves not be idle. They're all off doing something, looks like. Oh, a lot of praying. Good. Good. Meditate on war, Unib. You want to... What's, what's the deal here? Talk to me, Unib. Ooh. Oh, those are their tasks that they can do. Their labors. Focus. Yeah, here we go. Disdains perseverance? What the heck is that? Developed empathy. Hmm. Disdains perseverance. How would you ever get anything done? I don't even know. I think she's got a lover. Adequate organizer. Dabbling urbanist. She needs to be occupied. Be creative. Needs excitement. Acquire object. It's raining on me. It's annoying. She's annoyed when caught in the rain. She felt wonder after incompletely performing the rites of a steam doctrine in an undedicated temple. Nice. Uh... Nothing. So, question. Military screen. Toady. Why, why do we not have a military button? Like, that's probably the most important part of the game here. You can do your nobles as well as assign your administrators, military leaders, and other officials, military commanders. Once the first leader is assigned, subsequent captain positions will appear. These can. Certain important functions in your fortress can only be performed by assigned administrators such as manager, bookkeeper. Once they are assigned, you can create work orders, run a hospital, and count appraisals on your horde. Uh, nobles and certain administrators require rooms. So, expedition leader is also going to become our militia commander because she is really eager to get on that. So, we're just going to do that. Broker, do we have, does it say relevant skills? Uh, broker, we want appraisal. That's probably the most the conversationalist might be important. Judge of intent. Hmm. Unib. Without appraisal, you're no good for brokering. Oh, I'm giving too much work to Unib. We really need some more dwarves to come join us. Let's see. What's this? No study. Needs meager study. Needs meager study. Interesting. Um, we'll build you a little open air study. Yeah. Why not? Why not? You'll be outdoors. Let's see. Constructions. Walls. Walls. Oh, come on. Constructions. Wall there. Well, where 
there's a cobaltite. Yeah, place a wall there. And cobaltite. Ooh, without a workshop, we can't make a door. We're still paused. Um, so we need to make a workshop, which will go, which will be constructions. Where are we? Why can I not find constructions? Workshops. Carpenter. I don't want to set. I don't want to set it outside, but we're too late. We got to do some management now at this point. And not disturb the plants. Build a workshop out of wood. Okay. And then I'm positive. Let's let's see these guys get to work. Designate that workshop to build a door when we can. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll build a roof on that when we can. Let's see here. Add a new task. Ooh, make bed, make the one corkscrew box door. Door. Make wooden door. Yep. You gonna go make a wooden door for me? Thank you. Uh, construction. We want to. Do we have the door? Can go wood door. Then we'll build a staircase, I guess, because we got to have a staircase. Uh, constructions. Stairs. Out of wood. See if we can build a floor now. Or what? Wait, 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 wait. Pause it. Constructions. What is it? Is it going to be a. Yes! Oh! We hit the cavern layer, people. So we were getting ready to build a roof, but we couldn't. Because we got to pause it. We got an alert. Ah, here we go. Yes, under our mining announcements. Alrighty, where are we at here? So we're at Z level 100. That, let's see, we can identify what cavern layer this is by fungi wood. All this fungi wood. Uh, dense floor fungus. Let's see, what do we got here? Go look around. Fungi wood. Tower cap. It looks like second layer. We're not down to the third. Young tower cap. Yep. Cave wheat. Nice. Fungi wood. Okay, so we are going to set up quarry bushes. Alrighty. Yeah, we got some food. Do we have any water down here, though, is the question. Tower cap, fungi wood, dimple cups, it's food, dimple cups are food, cave ciders, silk, that's not great, young tower cap, fungi wood, yep, we're not down into the third yet, quarry bushes, and I don't see, oh, yep, there's some water, very decent little pool down here, very good, we can do some work down here, let's see. So he just tapped in at level 103, and we're going to have to, before we do anything else, build a couple hatches, I'm thinking.
Uh, add a new task. We need a floor hatch. Floor hatch. Hatch cover. Uh, what is this? Click to set this indefinitely. Nope. Can I click it again? Nope. I have to add a new one. You're just going to make them out of plum wood, huh? I don't get any say in that. Set details for this task. Oh, nope. I don't want to make them out of plum wood. Is that the whole list, or is that just what I have? All I have available is what? They won't make me let hatches out of anything? Whatever. Um. Okay. And, oop, we need another one. Add a new task. Floor hatch. Hatch cover. I don't know why I keep saying floor hatch, because I think that's what it used to say when you would install it. Construction. Constructions. Floor. And constructions. Floor. And constructions. No, we want doors, hatches. Hatch. Oh, we haven't built any hatches yet. We gotta build some hatches. You have discovered a downward passage. Let's go to the mining. Let's see. Downward passage. Where are you? Holy mackerel. How do you clear those? Yep, we have, indeed. I get that, but where is the... Uh, there's a downward passage? Let's look at that again. Ooh, broker. Ooh, what? That just must have been from the uh, cave collapse that happened earlier. Jeez Louise. Oh, back to what I was going to do. Sweet. Stray mule. The stone crafter and planter have married. No, we haven't done anything. I guess we built the temple. back down here to our constructions I am a micromanager I leave my fortresses pause most of the time so we're not having to think uh, constructions floor hatch doors hatches hatch no access to hatch cover gotcha he's working on it He's still going. Uh, we should have stopped him. Yep, definitely should have stopped him. Oh well, we ooh. Spore tree, goblin cap, fungi wood. We hit two layers. That's a different layer right there. That's interesting. These are different. So maybe that was the first layer, and then we just hit the second layer. Holy mackerel. We got to watch out. We are chopping through layers here of... Uh, ooh -wee. I feel like we're going to lose our miner if I'm not careful here. He's just going to fall if he keeps going right there. 
we can't mine out a staircase there. We're going to have to construct something to get down there. That's all right. Floor hatches will be appropriate there. Going up. Holy mackerel, they're way down there. Let's see. We haven't even finished doing any planning. Construction. Doors hatches. Hatch. Pecan hatch. Cool. Needs to finish, and then we'll have the hatch, and that'll be the office. Uh, so we'll go to zones, and we need an office. Okay. Except Unib. Unib's office. I don't know if she needed an office or quarters, so now now we're in trouble. Unib's office, cool. So then we'll click out, bam. Nope, we need it to go into administrators. Meager study. Yep, that worked. The office filled in the room for a meager study. Excellent. So now oop, we'll go back here and check out Unib. She's pretty happy. It looks like, oh, still having to figure this out with that right click. Unib, let's see. Oh, lack of chairs already, already. <laughs> That's okay. Cool. Um, I like worshiping at that tree. So cool, we've got that. Uh, we're going to need two more hatch covers. And then we'll work on the real thing. Cool. We already have one. Let's see if he'll make another one. Oh, that one is getting assigned up here. Bam. Put that hatch up. Bam. Yeah. It's a closed little little thing with an open thing. We should probably build a floor in there. Let's do constructions. Floor. Why not? Make it nice. Cool. Then, can we add a new task to make a chair? Give you a chair and a table, Unib, because that's what managers need. Cool. Cool. Now we can pause it. And before we get into too much trouble, Rough Marians, we're going to check to see if we have any. Pond grabbers are down here in the cavern. Hmm, this is interesting. This is where I miss right now because I'm not seeing any description. We used to get these really great descriptions. And now we just have a visual. It has a lot of Willpower, but it has poor focus, poor empathy, meager kinesthetic sense, meager ability with social relationships, little patience, and lousy intuition. It does not find most jokes humorous. It tends not to be swayed by emotional appeals. It tries to keep things orderly. What? Hmm. Interesting thoughts. Military groups. 
relations, but we don't get a description. Man, that's sad. That's exactly, I was, when I was sharing this idea, I was like, book versus movie. And yep, I'm seeing that right now. Uh, that remains, hmm. Where I'm very much feeling like the ASCII version was more like a book and the graphic version here, the premium, is more like a movie. Keep that doubled up and we'll construct a staircase. staircase up I think we're gonna go let's see somewhere in another cavern and there's water down here I like that water but there's pond grabbers in here I don't know if I want to live so close to pond grabbers I think I want to perch right between the two cavern layers I don't know that's tricky Right there, this little bar right here. I can dig a well down and then build walls up. That's a lot of walls. Designate. That should do it. Alrighty. Do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. Where did I, where did I designate that? Now, now I regret it. I instantly regret it. Cool. So we can erase that. We'll figure that. We'll figure out the water situation in a bit. We're going to need that for our miner if he ever gets caught in a collapse again. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's see and he lost the plot because he couldn't go through those nether caps yep so that's where we need hatch covers mm, not quite yet we need hatch covers right 102 go a couple layers up just because uh, Ooh, we want doors, hatches. Cool. We could use floodgates. They'd be a more sturdy solution, but hatch covers will do it. Yep. And we're going to go between the cavern layers.
was kind of I was thinking that soundtrack was so out of line and I couldn't figure out why for the longest time and then I'm like, ah, feedback. Why are they what is taking so long on these hatches? Building any construction. Ooh, we got a fishery. Maybe we'll get a fisher dwarf out here. Ooh, let's see, do we have enough space for another workshop? We want Mason's workshop. Yep, stone worker, I guess, is what we're calling them nowadays. I don't want to build it with all that. We have a bunch of kids. Mechanic. Oh, they changed it from Mason to Mechanic. Oh, gravy biscuits. Y'all, let's let this run out for a bit. Um, keep an eye. Uh, some migrants have arrived. Six, seven, eight. We got one more guy. Who was it? I think it's Kel. No. Might have been a short ass. A whole bunch of kids. Dwarven kids are such a burden. Don't do anything. children. Over-reliant on device and, and device on impatient. No wonder he has 11 children. Disdains commerce. Yeah, you develop empathy after having so many kids. Ooh, he loves his kids. Tenderness. Good. Good. Glad he's a happy fellow. Send this creature to a wind site or expel this creature. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Not yet. Once he starts a fight with somebody. Let's see, so where are we at in this workshop? We're still working on barrels. So 
we're looking at carving out a magma furnace somewhere over here. Probably do almost all of our furnaces. Magma glass furnace, magma fill. Yep, we can do practically all. Magma smelter. We don't need a wood furnace if we're using magma, so that. Yep. Pretty great. Pretty great. <sighs> Although the smelter will power tasks, you are responsible for placing magma. The smelter above magma, but no other fuel. Smelters. Magma. So I'm going to need to go do a magma channel. Yep. So we got to place the magma underneath. We might be able to get it by mining out this corner. Instructions, doors, hatches, here we go. Door. Cobaltite. Cobaltite. Cool. Granite block floor. Cobaltite doors. Alrighty, and then now I hear stockpiles or zones. Let's run it. Where the heck I go? Stuck. Whoop. Although it's a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan. Oh no! I forgot to build a supply depot. I don't know if I have time. Oh, pause that. Um, I like how it auto pauses when alerts come up. That's cool. So, um, yeah. So, Before the cutout, I think we were building a trade depot for a non-existing caravan, and we got distracted by this cave crocodile killing our kids, Tilma Mooker. Uh, and we lost our expedition leader to Tilma Mooker, so we are completely distracted from our volcano project at this point. We're just not even working on anything. Um, we're trying to kill Toma Mooker because they're going to eat all of our people. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're just gonna look back real quick and, and see down. Um, this is where Toma Mooker em emerged and got some kids here. We're gonna go up to the fortress here real quick, or down to the fortress, excuse me. And look, and all the mining stuff, woohoo, we might be able to get some magma forges up and good stuff, yay. <laughs> and um, back up to the surface, it's gonna be on the surface and play the animals.
took out those implines there. That's kind of weird. Back to the alert. All these people have been found dead. Let's see. It's just gruesome. Find Tilma Mucker again. And we're going to follow Tilma Mucker. And we're going to watch the military tear them apart. And if you wanted to see what led into the expedition later, that'll be clipped on Twitch. So here we go. We're going to deal with Tilma Mucker, Ithmagasmer, or Group Wave the Shaken Umbra. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty scary name for a cave crocodile. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty, so we got some battle. We're gonna focus in. Oh, oh, that's been a lot of battle. Yeah. They put a chokehold on the militia commander's throat with their right leg. Uh, oh! Punches the cave crocodile in the tail, but the tail goes right through. And the tail with the right hand goes in the middle. Uh, the militia commander punches the cave crocodile in the right front leg with a bruising of the fat. Uh, it, it's. Oh! Hit her left hand right off. The cave crocodile bit the militia commander's. What was it? Left hand right off. Yep. Doing takedowns, the cave crocodiles doing wrestling moves all over the place on the cave commander, or on the militia commander. Um, yep, and that's where we're at. Uh, strangles the militia commander's throat. Head. Okay, so we're gonna clear that out. Let it play out a bit, I guess. Oh no! Oh no! Somebody's dead. Uh, recruit's been found dead. Kel, Kel bit it. Um, the wrestler is now fighting. The crundle is fighting. Where's the crundle fighting? Attacks the expedition leader. Oh no. It, it looks like, uh, let's see, the expedition leader punches the crundle in the right upper leg. punches the crundle in the right upper leg. Uh, the crundle attacks the wrestler but can't because he jumped away. Uh, but the crundle then scrambles away. Uh, the crundle scratches the wrestler, bruising the fat. The wrestler grabs the crundle by the toe and then releases the grip. The crundle attacks the wrestler but he jumps away. The wrestler grabs the crundle again by the third toe again, and then releases the grip. The wrestler grabs the crundle by the fourth toe, instead of the third for some time, for any reason, uh, with his upper arm. The crundle bites the wrestler in the upper front teeth, and the severed part sails off in an arc. So the crundle bit the wrestler in the upper front teeth, and the teeth fell off. The wrestler releases grip of the wrestler's right upper arm. The wrestler locks the crundle's left lower knee with his left upper arm. The wrestler bends the crundle's left lower leg with the wrestler's left upper arm, and the left knee collapses. A ligament in the left knee has been torn. The crundle gives in to pain. The wrestler releases the joint lock on the crundle's left lower leg. The wrestler punches the crundle in the head with his right hand, and the injured part collapses. 
an artery has been opened in the attack. That's probably going to be it for the Trundle. Alrighty, so we'll click out of that. The Trundle's fighting, the Wrestler is fighting, the Cave Crocodile's fighting. Alrighty, oop, the Wrestler's on it. The Militia Commander's throat. The Cave Crocodile was then wrestling the Militia Commander. Yep, strangling the militia commander, and then grabs the militia commander, er, the wrestler by the throat. The wrestler punches a cave crocodile in the upper body with the right hand, bruising the fat. The cave crocodile places a chokehold on the wrestler's throat, uh, strangles the wrestler's throat. The wrestler passes out, the militia commander passed out. Oh my goodness, we're in so much trouble. Oof. We're gonna clear that. Where's Tilden Booker? Right here. We're gonna follow ya. Yep, she's terrified, afraid, hopeless, and panicked, but uh, looks like her next victim is gonna be a Torben kid that won't get out of the way. I should have done a burrow and sent him down to the <laughs> main fortress. Maybe I should do that now, like urgently. Oh no, because that'll send everybody who's above ground underground. I don't know if that's such a great idea. But I could set up a burrow right here. Uh, it would limit us from water, which is how we even got into this mess. Opening cavern layers. We knew better. We knew better. All of this fishing. So sad. died. Attacks the wrestler, but he jumps away. This is another wrestler. Cave Crocodile grabs the wrestler by the throat. It's so fast. It's so fast. They're all going down. They are all going down. It's pretty the other wrestler. That wrestler passes out. They're gonna die very soon. Ick. Uh, let's see what else we got for... So, this wrestler died. Yep. Crundle, is it? I'm pretty sure it's completely dead. Uh, we have no, no updates, but it's probably bleeding out. Um, and so Ast is at it now getting choked, and I do believe the militia commander's there, but they passed out.
right by the neck to tilt it. Maybe we were trying to break the grip, punch the cave crocodile in the right rear foot, and then the cave crocodile finally released the grip, the rover stood up, and uh, jumped away from the cave crocodile's attack, the rover kicked the cave crocodile. First right foot, and the injured part explodes into gore. Wow, Tobin Hooker's front right foot. The uh, horse twists the right front foot, tearing apart the scale. The cave crocodile misses a broker. The cave crocodile attacks the broker, but he jumps away. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the right rear leg with his left hand, bruising the scale. The cave crocodile grabs the broker with the fourth finger left hand with her right front leg. The crocodile misses the broker. The broker punches the cave crocodile's right rear leg, losing the muscle. The cave crocodile throws the broker by the fourth finger with their right front leg. I thought that part was severely injured. I don't know if that was allowed. Um, the cave crocodile throws the broker, the cave crocodile bites the broker in the upper body, tearing the muscle and bruising the left two ribs through the back of the shirt. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the right front leg, bruising the muscle. The cave crocodile bites the broker in the left lower arm, tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone through the alpaca wool shirt. An artery has been opened in the attack, a ligament has been torn, a tendon has been torn, the cave crocodile latches on firmly, the cave crocodile shakes the broker by the left lower arm, and the severed part flies off in an arm. The left lower arm is ripped and ripped away and the remains of the cave crocodile's grip. The broker attacks the cave crocodile, but she scrambles away. The cave crocodile grabs the broker by the trousers with her left, right, rear leg. The cave crocodile takes the broker down by the giant cave spider silk trousers with their left rear leg and then releases grip. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the right front leg with their hand bruising the muscle. The cave crocodile grabs the broker by the third toe. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the right front leg, bruising the scale. The cave crocodile lets you deal Razzabacod's left lower arm drop away as she attacks. The cave crocodile bites through the broker in the left lower leg, tearing the muscle and bruising the bone through the jade giant cave spider silk trousers. Many nerves have been severed and the tendon has been torn. The cave crocodile latches on firmly. The cave crocodile shakes the broker around by the left lower leg, and the severed part flies off in an arm. The left lower leg is ripped away and remains in the cave crocodile's foot. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the right front leg, bruising the fat. The cave crocodile grabs the broker by the second toe right in the foot. Uh, with her right rear leg, the cave crocodile releases grip. The cave crocodile grabs the broker by the first finger, right hand with her right front leg. The broker misses the cave crocodile. The cave crocodile releases grip. The cave crocodile grabs the broker with her left rear leg by the glove. The cave crocodile releases the grip. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the right rear foot. The cave crocodile opens the back. Uh, the cave crocodile lets uh, Udo Rasmakov's left lower leg drop away as she attacks. The cave crocodile bites the broker in the right upper leg, tearing the muscle and losing the bone. The tendon has been torn. The cave crocodile latches on her and the broker punches. And in the upper body, with his right hand, losing the back, the, cave, the broker misses the cave crocodile. The cave crocodile shakes the broker down by the right upper leg, and the severed part falls off in the heart. So he's missing an 
arm and both legs at this point. He's still with his right arm punching the cave crocodile at every opportunity. Of course, he just got to run away. This is sad. The right upper leg is ripped away and the remains remain in the crocodile's grip. The cave crocodile grabs the broker by the tug with her left rear leg, which I think is cave crocodile's only functional appendage besides their mouth. The cave crocodile releases the grip. The broker attacks the crocodile, but she scrambles away. The cave crocodile grabs the broker by the right hand. Oh no! With her right rear leg up, and then locks the broker's right wrist. Oh. The broker punches the cave crocodile in the left front leg with his right hand. Well, it's well, it's caught in the cave crocodile's right rear leg. So no, the cave crocodile has both rear legs. Uh, the cave crocodile bends the broker's right hand with the cave crocodile's right rear leg and the right wrist going after some of Oh, no. No, that's the end of the broker. They can't fight anymore. They're going to be fighting a little bit. The right wrist is much more than it's been this way. The cave crocodile releases a joint lock on the right hand. The cave crocodile lets the wheel pass the dog's upper leg. Right.
Three dwarven children and Sadell. So we kind of got to follow Sadell. Because he's our last hope. These dwarven children are not really going to get to him about there. And if they do, I'm going to be incredibly surprised. Okay. There he goes. He's going for Tomamooker. Let's see if he can do it. You're our last hope. Oh, no. What just happened there? There's a close blood. It's a crumble. Thanks for the help. So yeah, he's bearing with this crumble on his way to go get it. It's like a We just killed our new expedition leader. Oh, that's the end of our mission here, folks. That's it. I believe we're not going to make it. I'm not, I'm not even going to focus on this. This is the end, and it's sad. But it's okay. That's fine. Yep, he's out. Now it's just a matter of time before the kids are gone. Oh, kettle practice last year. It says to zoom position. Okay. What? Weren't you a kid? Oh. What? We got... In the nick of time. In the nick of time. <laughs> we got a wave of migrants to save our colony. And one of them instantly became the expedition leader. That that's pretty amazing. Just in the nick of time. Mid-autumn. Did we go through a whole year fighting Toma Booker? I'm gonna have to look back at that. That's pretty amazing. Oh my goodness. This cave crocodile. We just had a few children. These three, obviously. Running around really really sad because all the rest of our dwarves in our fortress died from the cave crocodile toma mooker now we just got this new arrival of migrants Let's see where they're at they're up here in the meeting place they can't even get checked in but we've already got an expedition leader so now we're gonna assign a leader we're gonna assign the expedition leader Assign position to. We're just gonna assign all these adults and give them the task and hope they can kill Toma Mucker. I don't. They don't really have time to equip or anything. I don't know what to say. So, because the equipment's gonna be down pretty far into the fortress. So all of you new migrants, I am so sorry. This is miserable. Um, I think we're gonna follow our new expedition leader, Kadal Mumbenmang, or Kadal Practice Slashes. And he's gonna, uh, then he's gonna leave the party to go kill Tom Hunter, hopefully, and see what he has for items on him.
right, they're gonna get him. Oh, they're gonna get him. I think they might get him. Let's, let's, let's look at this. Tomomoto might not be in good shape right now. Yep, yep, this is, this is going really poorly for Tomomoto. He's getting taken out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Pretty much. I don't know if this game crocodile could come back, but uh, these guys just beat the whole way in the daylight zone. And let's see what the game crocodile got away with before they started beating the whole I don't think we lost anybody there. Yeah, let's, let's go look at these battles. So we've got K all. Let's go see how this battle went. We'll be down here at the bottom. Yep. One, two, three, four. Let's, let's look at them real quick. Uh, they, the cave crocodile got K all by the uh, fourth toad, and then the expedition leader punched the cave crocodile, uh, bruising the muscle, and then the cave crocodile threw K all by the toad. Um, the expedition later skidded along the ground, bruising the muscle and bruising the liver. The expedition later now skids along the ground and left cheek splits and gore. Oof, he's got a scar in his left cheek now for this. The expedition later slams into an ox trickle and then stands up and proceeds to start beating the game crocodile. Alrighty. So, Kadal got a scar on his cheek, but that's that's about the worst of it for him. Uh, Cave Crocodile missed the recruit. Missed, missed. Yep, bruising the guts, bruising the muscle, bruising the back. Uh, ooh, Cave Crocodile did grab this for the recruit. Who are we looking at? We're looking at Aiden Focket for him. Yeah. We'll find out what that is shortly or later. But the Cave Crocodile grabs and locks the left knee with his right rear leg and the retreat punches the cave crocodile. The cave crocodile bends the recruit's left lower leg and the left knee collapses. So this recruit lost their ability to walk. We're gonna have to get him a crutch. The ligament in the left knee has been torn and it has been torn and he falls over. Releases uh, the cave crocodile, release the joint lock and then bit the recruit in the left lower arm, tearing apart the skin. The recruit punches Cave Crocodile on the lower body with his left hand, bruising muscle. The Cave Crocodile is even more sick. The Cave Crocodile releases grip um, on the recruit's left lower leg. The Cave Crocodile grabs the recruit by the first finger. The Cave Crocodile releases grip. Uh, Aiden says, Can it all end so quickly? Be gone. Fear the Cave Crocodile attacks. attacks the recruit, but he scrambled away, and then he proceeds to beat on the cave crocodile with his fists. Yep, and then the recruit bites the cave crocodile in the leg and latches on, but the crocodile breaks again. The crocodile is bitten off. Conscious, and he just keeps punching and punching and punching the cave crocodile. Yep, twisting the neck, twisting the muscle. These guys pretty much got it, but uh, it's got a wounded arm and a dysfunctional knee, I think. We're gonna have to fix. Uh, that's Aiden. So, Kadal's got a scarred cheek, Aiden's. Not a problematic knee and a bite on the arm. Let's see how Tobo fared. Uh, okay, Crocodile grabs the wrestler by the third finger and takes the wrestler down by the third finger. The wrestler punches the Cave Crocodile in the leg, using the back, and the wrestler stands up. The Cave Crocodile releases the grip. The Cave Crocodile attack the wrestler, but the wrestler is injured. The wrestler punches the cave crocodile. The cave crocodile grabs the wrestler. The wrestler, the the wrestler punches the crocodile. 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 The
Kincaid cracked out, matches off Germany. The wrestler loses hold of his right glove. Kincaid cracked out, shakes the wrestler around by the right upper arm and the severed part. Ooh, <laughs> this glove. The right upper arm is in the way. Missing your arm, man. Uh, Noble says, I have improved my fighting, that is very satisfying. Interesting. Kicking and punching the cave crocodile. Uh, the wrestler bites the cave crocodile in the lower body, tearing the scale and bruising the fat, matches on firmly. The cave crocodile misses the wrestler, the cave crocodile breaks the ground. The wrestler latches on. Oh, the wrestler bites the king of the wrestler latches on the king of the king of the Missing arms, a broken leg, and a cheek injury. Alrighty, how'd, the, how'd Stu go there? Oh, no injuries, are you kidding me?
single bruise dented, but she's very muscle muscular. Her teeth is gone. Her eyes are red. Her teeth is gone. And she managed to get all these people? She's got a lot of slides. She is absolutely inexhaustible, extremely agile, incredibly tough, and very strong. She is slow to heal, but she's still not dead. All of our dwarves are doing poorly here. Let's carry this on. Okay, it all is running on. We're still doing battle. This is pretty rough. Those trundles don't want any of this. My goodness. Oh. These dwarves are running out of steam, I think. This is bad. Oh, Kate all's dead. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Just dwarven kids that are really unhappy because they came at the wrong time. Yep. Tomamooker was indestructible. Just an absolute beast of a character. Full of battle. Not going for any more kids. Are you going to jump into the volcano, Tomamooker? And all of our misery will come back here. What's going on, Tomoker? Oh, you're heading off the map, are you? Maybe. I don't know if we're gonna get another.
hurts for. Where are you at? Hanging by the tree. You're just like, I don't want no piece of that one. Slaveys, buddy. Tell my mother ran away. The orphan kids are all lonely. Adopt a swords person. Too bad. They've got nine food, no drink, and the caves are dangerous. Running with crumbles. We're on the north east edge of the volcano. I think we are going to come back here with another expedition, but we're going to have to call it here. <laughs> Save this timeline. Well, that was kind of a sad end to a fortress, but we'll come back and revisit it sometime. See if we can find the remains and seal up those hatches and take the workshops that are there and make use of them. We scared off Tillamooker. They're just running around the world now. So I had fun. That was a good time. That's why we played Horror Fortress. All right. I hope everybody has a good one.